A pair of tennis doubles partners at Cal State Northridge really leaning on one another for support and love as the war between Russia and Ukraine enters its second week. Why? Well, one of the young women is from Russia, the other is from Ukraine. The two were close before the war started. Now their bond is even tighter. They join me now. Yulia Zetelna and Katerina Rapina join us now. What a delight to see you both. First of all, let me check on you both. Um, Yulia, let's start with you. Have you been in contact with your family? Yeah, I just talked with them like a couple minutes ago. So um, they just uh, crossed the borders with a Poland. They've made it to Poland. Yeah. And that must be re uh, such a relief for you. That's a relief, but at the same time, I'm kind of like upset because all my family, they didn't want to leave. And uh, uh, they just left the house and everything. Just, they just left everything behind and just like went to the Poland. So it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's a relief, but at the same time, I'm like, it's kind of upsetting. It's a reminder how these things are not and or, they're also, right? It's all of these things, all of these feelings are complicated. And it must be for you, Kat, right? Knowing that your nation is at war with her nation and you feel such love for this friend of yours and that you have been such a support. Talk to me about how you've been in contact with your family. Yeah, well, I'm staying in contact with my family all the time. Um, I know that some social media doesn't work there, but I'm trying as much as I can to just take advantage of time we have because we never know what's going to happen next. So I'm trying to talk to them every day, like five times a day. Yeah. And it helps a lot to just go through the day because being so far away for both of us from our families is really hard. You feel helpless and feel disconnected. Yulia, I know that you learned of the, the invasion on the news and the first person you reached out to was your tennis yeah. partner. Yeah, we were like doing homework in the lobby and uh, I actually like found out it's, it's happening like 50 minutes after the first uh, missiles came to the airport. And uh, she was there and she saw like my first emotions and like I was like, oh, no way it's happening. And uh, then I called my parents and I woke them up uh, by saying this. But yeah, Kat was with me the whole time. Kat, such a great support. You've been a pillar to Yulia. What was going through your mind in terms of how you could support your friend? I think at the moment when we found out, both of us were just so in shock because we didn't believe it would actually happen because yeah. people were talking about it, but it was not never like, oh, yeah, it's going to happen. There's going to be war. And I think we were so shocked and we had so much fear of what's going to happen next that it was hard. We were just laying on each other and crying <laughs> basically because we were both very traumatized by the situation. So I think that having each other there and just being able to even cry through together helped a lot. Absolutely. The presence of having someone that can relate to what you're going through is so powerful. Kat, I know that you, the two of you didn't set out to be an example that, you know, the rest of us can turn to about humanity in times of real trial, but we, you really have become that for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank we, you. Yeah. we really appreciate it because that's even why we're trying to get this awareness out that there are people who are very like that uh, no matter the country we're still friends uh, and there are so many relationship friendships that no matter the country no matter like political side they're still together and we're still so close with each other and we can be there to support just as human beings yes yeah. as human beings right that's the thing Yulia um, you have been so uh, move to get involved in organizing events and, and, so, and rallies on your campus there. For those that are watching on TV right now, what would you tell them about how they can help? Th thanks for opportunity to speak though. Um, so, um, you know, the, th the first thing uh, when I, when someone asking me what we can help from the, our side, that just spread awareness and just help as you can, because for sure we cannot stop it like, like for a second, like we just cannot do this because it's not in our uh, power. But at the same time, we can spread the information. We can um, share our support and uh, donations and uh, signing petitions and just stay like 
people, you know what I mean? Just a human being and, uh, um, yeah, and just, that's what we can do, like, for our side and just, you know, yeah. Are you getting any sleep, the two of you? <laughs> we're trying our best because it's kind of hard with uh, tennis season and schoolwork because it's a lot and we cannot just let it go and not do it because we have our responsibilities. Yes. So I think we just have to stay very strong and try to live our normal lives as well. But mm -hmm. it's extremely hard. I think it's double pressure for sure and for a sure. lot on mental yeah. too. The and mental we just strain. Need to does the, the does tennis help you, Leah, at all? Does it, it help get out there and hit the ball around a bit? Um, like, I mean, I didn't play for for quite like for a couple of days, but um, it's still like different when you play in such such circumstances. Like, it's kind of different, but I like playing tennis, so it's like it's just good uh, distraction. A little bit of a distraction in such a time of strife. I am so glad the two of you have each other. It is a beautiful <laughs> bond that I have a feeling will last a lifetime. Thank you for being willing to share with us. Please know that we are sending love both of your way and your family's way. And those of us that are people of prayer, we are offering up prayers for their safety as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. And you take care of each other, okay? Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for having us. Our delight.